Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Herring, and today I want to talk to you about animals. But I want to talk to you about animals and their habitats. A habitat is a place where, they're, where an animal lives. I remember when I read the salamander room, the little boy was making a habitat for that salamander in his bedroom. But before we do that, I wanna talk a little bit about sorting. We've done sorting in many different ways. We have sorted colors. We've put all red together, all yellow together. We have sorted shapes where we have all circles and all triangles and all rectangles together. We have even sorted rocks. We sorted some rocks can be big, some rocks can be small, some rocks can be smooth, and some rocks can be bumpy. Sorting is a good way to organize information. So today I'm gonna to show you four different ways that I sorted animals. My first way that I sorted animals were animals that lived on the farm. So I see a rooster is a farm animal and a horse and a pig and a goat and a cow and a sheep. All those animals are farm animals. They live on the farm. The next habitat I want to explore with you is the ocean. It says animals live in the ocean. And here is an orca whale, a starfish, a sea turtle, a shark, a clownfish, and a manta ray. Those animals live in the ocean. That is their habitat. The next habitat I want to go explore is called the savanna. The savanna is a grassy plain. It has some trees, but the trees are pretty much spread apart. Um, a savanna is, you can find a savanna where it is warm. Most of these animals can be found in Africa. So the first animal on the savanna is a rhinoceros, a lion, a zebra, a giraffe, a gazelle, and an elephant. Think for a minute, where may you have seen these animals before? Yeah, at the zoo. A lot of the animals from the savanna are zoo animals. And the next habitat I want to explore is the forest. A fox lives in the forest. A cardinal, which is a bird, lives in the forest. Deer live in the forest. Raccoon live in the forest. Moose live in a forest. And a bear lives in a forest. So that is their habitat. So you can see, I took four different habitats and I sorted the animals up from where they live. I hope you like that lesson and we'll talk later. Bye-bye.